In this video, we're just going to be focusing on parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same slope. Once we know the slope in a point, we can use the formula y equals mx plus b, or the slope-intercept equation. Let's go ahead and try to find an equation of a line in the examples below. In example one, we're asked to find the equation of the line parallel to the line y equals negative three-fourths x plus two that goes through the point negative eight, one. Notice that if we want to find the equation of a line parallel to this line, our slope will remain the same. But where the line crosses the y-axis or the b portion of our equation, that will change because it's going through a new point. So we know that our slope will remain negative three-fourths x but b is going to change. We now have to use the values that are in our coordinate point, negative eight, one, to plug in for x and y so we can find b. We do this by simply putting in negative eight for x and one for y. When we do this, we get one is equal to negative three-fourths times negative eight plus b. Now the only variable that we need to solve for is b. Notice that four times eight over one will have a negative times a negative in it and the negatives will multiply and a negative times a negative is a positive and our fours, four will divide with eight and two will be left over. Negative three times two is six. Now we subtract six from both sides and our final answer is negative five is equal to b, or b is equal to negative five. Now, since we know that the lines are parallel, we can rewrite the slope-intercept equation because our slope has not changed. It's still negative three-fourths x, but the b is the part that we're not sure about. That's what we solved for using that new point and so we can put negative five in for b. And that's the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals negative three-fourths x plus two. The only difference is that the line crosses the y-axis lower than the original equation, but still parallel. In example two, we're asked to find the equation of the line parallel to the line two x minus five y equals three that goes through the point five three. Notice that this equation of the line is not in slope intercept form, it's in standard form. So first, we must isolate y and get it in slope intercept form. By subtracting two x from both sides, we get negative five x is equal to negative, scratch that, we get negative five y is equal to negative two x by subtracting x from both sides plus three. Now we can divide both sides by negative five to get 
y equal to two-fifths x minus three-fifths. Notice that the negative five in the numerator divides with the negative five in the denominator. So all we've done so far is get the original equation in slope-intercept form. Now we have to determine where this new parallel line will cross the y-axis, since it has a different point at which it crosses. Our slopes, again, remain the same at two-fifths. But we now have to solve for a new y-intercept. That's where we take the values for x and y and plug them into our slope-intercept equation. We're now going to have three in place of y, and five in place of x, and we need to solve for b. The fives divide out, and we're left with three is equal to two plus b. Subtracting two from both sides, we get b is equal to one. So we now have a slope, which was exactly the same as what we started with because they're parallel lines, but our y-intercept is at one instead of right here, at negative three-fifths. So the new parallel line is actually a little bit higher on the y-axis. So the equation of this new line is two-fifths x plus one, or y equals two-fifths x plus one.